Let's talk about pages 35 through 39. Actually, I'm going to cover a little bit from page 40. Um, Pythagorean's theorem. If you just try to sound it out, you might think it's Pythagorean, but that's not actually how we pronounce it. The guy's name was Pythagoras, and uh, we call it the Pythagorean theorem. He lived before the time of Christ, which is actually kind of cool. So I like to tell my students that I think even when Jesus was in school, he would have learned the Pythagorean theorem because they knew it. It was part of their schooling, I would think. So we say that the length of a hypotenuse, so we're talking about a right triangle, the length of the longest side, which is across from the right angle, it's called the hypotenuse, the hypotenuse squared is always equal to the sum, okay, adding together the square of the other two sides. Let's see that with this triangle. We have this side is three, this side is four, the hypotenuse is five. What do we get when we take three and square it? We get nine, what's four squared? 16, okay? So five squared should equal three squared plus four squared. Let's see if it works. Nine plus 16 is 25. Sure enough, five squared is 25, yay! All right, this works for every right triangle. So this is an amazing, simple truth. Again, this points to the fact that we have a God who created math. And this is the language of God. Math is the language of God. There is, we don't have to worry about translating between different languages. This is true no matter what language somebody speaks, okay? So let's say we have a triangle here where A is 6, B is 7, and we're trying to find C. Now let me tell you, it's very important to recognize that C is always the hypotenuse, okay? C is always, we're plugging into this formula here, so it's always the side by itself. So what I'm asking is if I plug in 6 and square it plus 7 and square it, all right, so that gives me 36 plus, whoops, 49, that would give me what? Um, 85 for C, well, C squared would be 85, okay? And so to solve for C, say C squared equals 85, and then what we're going to be talking about in the next few pages is to find out what the actual value for 85 is. We're going to take the square root of both sides. So C would actually equal the square root of 85. <clears throat> Over here, we have a triangle, and I'm told that the hypotenuse is C. And I know that side A is 2. What would B? B. So that tells me that I'm going to have to say 7 squared equals 2 squared plus B squared. Okay, we always use this formula. Okay, that's so important. We need to memorize that. It's called the Pythagorean theorem. So we're going to, this will give me 49. This will give me 4 plus b squared. And so now I can subtract 4 from both sides, and I get 45 equals b squared. Now again, some couple, one of the pages that you're doing, that's where you'll stop. They're asking you to find what is this squared. Then you're done. But as you keep going, then a further page, I think closer to page 3940, wants you to find the square root, all right? So to actually solve for b, we'll do the square root of both sides. So b equals the square root of 45. All right, there you're done. Not too bad. So sometimes they um, give us the numbers in a format like this. Other times they show us a picture and say solve for c. That's what happens here on page 40. We have a picture of a right triangle. So we need to recognize this is the hypotenuse. And so this squared will equal 4 squared plus 7 squared. So that's easy. You solve these two, add them together, and then for the final answer, do the square root of that sum. Let's go a little bit further setting this one up because this one, they give us the hypotenuse and we're solving for B. So let's get a little more practice doing this using our formula here, 8 is going to be squared by itself on one side equals 3 squared plus 
b squared. All right. And now I can subtract the 3 squared from both sides. Subtract 9, so 64 minus 9. And uh, again, I'll let you finish that one because that one is part of your homework on page 40. <clears throat> so a little bit, a uh, little different concept. Um, and now practicing Pythagorean's theorem. And when Dad asks you at supper tonight, so what did you learn today at school? You can say, I learned Pythagorean's theorem, that the hypotenuse squared is equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides. And see if Dad remembers that. All right.